about what a stop is. A stop is basically a unit of measurement, meaning twice as much or half as much light that comes from the original f-stops and shutter speeds that we were working with on the old school film cameras. So when you hear photographers talking about opening up, that means that they are letting more light in or stopping down means they're letting less light in. Whether you're working with aperture or shutter speed, uh, it goes the same way. Okay, on our digital cameras, we do have third stops now. Um, and I'll show this to you right now. So right now, our meter says we're good right here. And I'm at F11, okay? And at ISO 200, 1 60th of a second. So if I took a photo right now, hey, we're looking good, okay? But now let's say if I was, I was uh, one stop underexposed. That means that if I move up here to F16, we're now in the minus one range. That's one stop underexposed, one stop darker, okay? So if I took a photo right now, oh yeah, it's a little bit dark, okay? So if I go back down, one, two, three, and if you look down here while I'm doing that, we have a third of a stop moving each time. So that's one third, two thirds, and a whole stop. Move down back to F11. And like I said, if I take a photo, then we're all good. All right, now the same way it goes with our shutter speed. If I went this way, or hey, let's go down instead, I'm going to overexpose by one stop. So now I'm at the plus one. I'm one stop overexposed from where I need to be. It's 1 30th of a second. Take a photo, too bright. And if you remember from my other video, uh, 1 60th of a second is the slowest you usually want to go when you're hand holding a camera. So to take care of this then, well first I can go to a tripod, but I'm just going to go back up to my, my 1 60th and hey we're good. All right. Now let's say I wanted to um, go up to F16, but hey now it's too dark. If I go ahead and go back down, then it gets lighter again. Let's go the opposite way. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now I'm gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. And now we're at F8 at one hundredth of a second, and we have a good exposure again. So there's always gonna be multiple um, exposure settings you can use. It really just comes down to what you, what creatively you want your photo to look like.